How did a simple fistfight lead to the disappearance of Lars Matank? From hallucinations and organ harvesting to multiple sightings, here are some of the biggest theories over what happened to Lars Matank. On July 8, 2014, 28-year-old German citizen Lars Matank was at Bulgaria's Varna airport awaiting a flight back to Germany. Matank reportedly stood up from his chair and shouted, I don't want to die here, I have to get out of here. Dropping all of his personal belongings to the floor, including his cell phone and wallet, Matank began running and was never seen again. But what led up to his strange disappearance? Matank and several friends had flown from Berlin to Bulgaria on June 30, 2014, where they planned to spend one month in the resort town of Golden Sands. This is Bulgaria's summer playground, attracting tourists from all over the country, Europe, and beyond to soak up the sun on its long, sandy beaches. According to reports, one night Matank and his friends got into an argument with another group of men over their favorite soccer clubs. He got separated from his friends and was reportedly attacked by four men, getting punched in the side of the head in the altercation. According to news.com.au, Matank did not initially realize how serious the injury was. However, he was eventually diagnosed with a possible concussion and a perforated eardrum. Matank was prescribed an antibiotic and warned not to fly, as the pressure could cause him intense pain or further damage his eardrum. Therefore, he was forced to stay behind when his friends caught their scheduled flight back to Germany. Matank reportedly left the resort and booked a room in a cheaper hotel in the city, with a friend claiming he seemed to be in good spirits. However, in his phone call to his mother that same evening, Matank was apparently in a state of panic and believed he was being followed. He also asked her to cancel his debit and credit cards because he was afraid of being robbed per Visica. Later that night and into the early hours of the next morning, surveillance cameras captured Matank pacing the hotel foyer, peering out the windows and seemingly hiding inside an elevator. Lars Matank appeared restless in surveillance footage and eventually left the hotel at approximately 1 a.m. It is not known where he went or what he was doing while he was gone, though he later returned to the hotel. In the early morning hours of July 8, 2014, Matank called a taxi to take him to Varna Airport for a flight back to Germany. After texting his mother, he visited the airport's medical clinic to find out whether his eardrum had healed enough to allow him to fly. Per Visiga, Dr. Costa Kostov said he seemed nervous and erratic during the physical exam. Then when a construction worker walked into the clinic, Matank reportedly began trembling, stood up, and abruptly fled. According to witness reports, which were confirmed by security camera footage, Matank ran down the hallway out the door and across the airport property. He then climbed a fence and continued running into a heavily wooded area. He was never seen again. Authorities subsequently released the airport's CCTV footage, which was eventually uploaded to YouTube, where it attracted more than 16 million views. The unusual nature of Matank's disappearance has sparked numerous rumors and theories about what may have actually happened to him. One of the biggest questions regarding Matank's disappearance is whether he was actually being stalked by a group of men, or if his disappearance was related to his injuries. The identities of the men who attacked Matank are unknown, and it's unclear whether they pursued him afterwards. However, he may have been experiencing side effects from the medication he was taking, or paranoia linked to a head injury. As reported by Visica, the antibiotic Matank was taking can cause a number of symptoms, including dizziness, but it's unlikely to cause mental disturbances. Plus, he apparently claimed that someone was after him before he started taking the antibiotics. And although he was only diagnosed with a possible concussion, head injuries are known to cause unusual behavior. Another theory is that Matank had a mental disorder. For example, paranoid schizophrenia can cause delusions that a person is being pursued or in imminent danger. However, his family claimed he did not have any history of mental illness, and nobody in his family has ever been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Other sources suggest Lars Matank was a victim of human trafficking. Bulgaria is reportedly known to have one of the highest rates of human trafficking in Europe, many locals and tourists allegedly being taken against their will and forced into sex work, slavery, drug smuggling, or killed for their organs. Were the men who allegedly attacked Matank involved in drug or organ trafficking and pursuing him for their trafficking ring? Like other transit routes, Bulgaria has its dangers. It's also been suggested that Matank or his friends were working as drug mules, either voluntarily or forcibly. Authorities reportedly didn't find any drugs among his personal belongings. However, theorists suggest that Matank may have stayed behind as some sort of insurance while his friends ran drugs back to Germany. Other theories suggest Matank could have been hallucinating due to drugs, that he may have committed suicide due to mental illness, or that he planned his own disappearance and simply does not want to be found. Unfortunately, the lack of evidence in the case has made it impossible to know what really happened to him. Since his disappearance, there have been many alleged sightings of Matank. In 2019, a truck driver picked up a man in Dresden, Germany and dropped him off in Brandenburg, which is close to Lars Matank's hometown of Berlin. According to the Berlin Spectator, the truck driver believed that the man strongly resembled an older version of Matank. 
Since he went missing, several law enforcement agencies, including Germany's BKA and Federal Criminal Police Office, have been working on Mateng's case. All the while, his mother has never given up hope of finding her son. The case has also gained a lot of interest on social media and has been featured on news programs in Bulgaria, Germany, and the United States. Unfortunately, a vast majority of the reported sightings have been ruled out, and no trace of Matank has ever been found.